We turn now to Boston because security is tight this morning as the city honors the bombing victims one year later. It will remain heavy for Monday's marathon, but questions are being raised about how intelligence agencies are coordinating critical information. A government report reveals communication gaps and some missed opportunities by the FBI before the attack. New York Police Commissioner Bill Bratton used to lead the Boston Police Department. Also with us, our former senior correspondent, John Miller. He is the NYPD's Deputy Commissioner intelligence. Good morning. Good morning. So how is your former city preparing for this? I think they're in great shape uh, for this event, both for the, the sports event, but also the security around it, that uh, they have spent an exhaustive year looking at every aspect of uh, what went wrong and what went right last year. So they're as prepared as any city could be for this event. Yeah, let's talk about what went wrong. The Inspector General's report, John, took the FBI to task and said that they didn't do a thorough assessment of Tam Tamerlan Zernayev, the suspect, didn't interview his wife, didn't go to the mosque at various watch lists, didn't have consistent information about his birth date and different spellings of his name. Do you think that that criticism is warranted? And do you think what lessons can be learned from that? Well, the FBI often, office in Boston did 775 of those threat assessments that year. Uh, this is part of a cadence. And the rules they operate under, um, which are largely self-imposed, stricter than the Attorney General guidelines say, if they don't find evidence of a crime or evidence supporting that threat within 90 days, they have to close that case. That's based on the theory that you can't just go on investigating somebody forever uh, based on a, on a tip. So. The review that the FBI did of that investigation said they ran every database, they ran every cross-check, they checked with uh, all of you know the sources that they had, and then they went further and did interviews with uh, the parents at the home and so on. So did they interview everybody that they would like to in 2020 hindsight? No. Um, but the wife? Does it surprise you that they didn't interview the wife? I think... Uh, you know, you can go back through any case and find fault. I think looking at that today, um, it's certainly somebody you would have wanted to talk to. But, uh, you know, at the time, I think they went as far as they could with what they had. Commissioner Bratton, one of the lessons, as you know, from 9-11 was the failure to connect the dots. I thought what was interesting in this Inspector General report is that some of what the FBI found, they did not share with local law enforcement in Boston. Given what now as you were head of, of the NYPD, how close is that connection with the FBI and you asking, share with me everything you know? Uh, extraordinarily close and getting closer all the time that uh, we have well over 100 of our personnel assigned to the Joint Terrorism Task Force where everything is shared. Uh, SCIF, uh, which is the, uh, uh, the room that we have at police headquarters, that's about the highest level of security you can get for any intelligence room. Uh, uh, Commissioner Miller has just recently expanded its activity. Uh, we are uh, like this with our colleagues at the federal government. But wasn't this a lesson of 9-11? There was not enough coordination between government agencies? Well, oh, I think that, uh, that is one of the uh, aspects of coming out of uh, the bombing last year, that some of the uh, sharing that should have been done was not done. And out of every negative, you try to get a positive. And I think one of the positives coming out of Boston was that uh, we understand clearly the need to share, share, and share again. What do we make of what the Russians didn't do? What the Russians didn't do was they sent a, a fairly vague uh, report saying uh, that they were suspicious of um, Tamerlan Tsarnaev. Uh, the FBI wrote back to them through cables, through diplomatic um, channels at the embassy, three times saying, do you have any more to go on before they closed out their investigation and never got any further? What the FBI then, I mean, what the Russians then did is they sent an equally vague report to the CIA asking them to, in, to investigate the same thing. You, you know, we've spoken with I, some... I, I just have to add, it, I have to suggest mm -hmm. that Russian intelligence um, had a lot more on Tamerlan Tsarnaev yeah. um, than they probably shared. What they were, were, what they were likely trying to do was protect their sources and methods. You know, we've spoken with some of the survivors from the Boston Marathon bombing, and they're really focused on the future. They don't want to talk about what happened in the past. And so I guess the question maybe some people have this morning is, is Boston going to be safe today? Is it going to be safe for the marathon next Monday? Oh, sure. That, uh, I'll actually be up there uh, uh, myself uh, over the weekend. Last year was probably one of the few years that I actually missed the Boston Marathon. As police former police commissioner up there, as a police officer, I worked it as a young kid. I used to go you to. Still it. have the yeah. Boston accent. It's, yeah. it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's like the Red Sox. So yeah. The marathon yeah. is part yeah. of the fever, 
Patriot and uh, it will be extraordinarily safe. And I is think New York assisting? I'm sorry. Is New York assisting with any of the security in Boston? We have some resources up there. We've been interacting with them over the last year. They've come down here to look at what we've been doing. We've been up there. Boston has been doing an extraordinary job reaching out to see what everybody else is doing that might strengthen what they go, are, going, are going to do for this weekend. May I turn to a light note for a moment? How is our former senior correspondent doing as your deputy? So far, so good. <laughs> he's, 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 Don't be too effusive. It's okay. <laughs> no, John, John is uh, extraordinarily skilled. We'll take him back. Uh, uh, yeah, in a couple good. of years, you can have him back but, uh, when I get done with him. But uh, now, John and I, uh, when we were in Los Angeles together, he built up a tremendous counterterrorism capability out there. You know, the foundation for allowing him to step into this uh, role so seamlessly. And uh, no, it's uh, the city is well served. I'm well served, and uh, y'all less well served. But uh, he's, he's I don't know. Okay. I seem to be back all the time. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> all right. Well, Commissioner Bratton and John Miller, good to have both of you here. Thank, Thank you very much. Good. Thank you.